gotten some close artillery support. BTR does not care. He's going right in. He's just trying to mop up any Aussies that... Oh! A round actually slams into the BTR. Knocks out a lot of health and he's stuck. This artillery. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh, he gets killed by his own artillery! Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And in this one, we've got the Aussies up against Russia on Anvil. This is Anvil Rasv4, and it's one of the largest, flattest maps in the game. Despite having a valley running right through the middle of it, the vast majority of the map is actually visible from almost 2,000 meters away, making it possible for insanely long-range tank fights and ATGM sniper fobs. This thing has nine objectives, and I'm not gonna lie, playing this map as infantry can be a little bit of a grind, but it actually makes for some of the most unique firefights you can find in squad, as teams try to control both the valleys and the cliff sides, so I hope you guys enjoy. Also, today's video is sponsored by me. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the content over the years, and I want to let y'all know that if you would like to support the channel further, I've completely refreshed my Patreon page with work in progress video clips, I res screenshots available to download, and other behind the scenes updates and access. I will even have monthly votes where Patreon members can select and choose one matchup per month that will get featured in an Eye in the Sky video. You can support with as low as $1 a month, and with that you'll unlock all these posts and even get access to a secret Discord. Now this is completely voluntary, and all of my regular content that you see on YouTube will always be free here. So thank you if you do choose to support the channel further, but once again, thank you guys for just sitting back and watching the videos because you have been able to let this crazy dream become a reality and i just want to thank you guys again but that's enough of that stuff if you do like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and drop me a comment below with a map game mode or faction you'd like to see in the next one but until next time peace all right i in the sky anvil ras v4 this is um Please stand by. i don't want to say one of the most hated maps in squad, but I think if I say it's one of the most hated maps in squad, I'm not going to get much pushback in this one. Uh, Anvil is an Aussie map. Uh, it was added when OWI purchased the Aussie mod and made it real content, had some reworks. Uh, the way if you, you can see right now, we're on board with the Aussies uh, and, and we're, we're taking on the Russians. Uh, they're going to be having a couple M1A1s, the export uh, Abrams tanks, uh, which the Aussies use. Uh, those spawn in in like six minutes. A couple of the ASLAVs, the ASLAVs. Uh, it's kind of like a LAV-25 a little bit. Uh, PMVs, which are armored cars. And then a helicopter, MRH, a giant helicopter, by the way. Um, up against the Russians. Are we just pushing for center control or what? Who will have two T-72s, two BTR-82s, a couple of Tigers, transports, and then... Then they're a MI-8 hip helicopter. Uh, Big so MRH in your screen right now, moving right to left. Really cool looking helicopter. But if you look at how the map lays out, yeah, it's like you just play. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. This is a nine point layer. Almost all the points are in this valley. And so it turns out most of the time is you get like a lot of, uh, you, you get like a lot of just... Toe fobs, cliff fights. I'm not gonna lie. Love to watch it. Absolutely entertaining to watch. Huge pain in the ass to play sometimes. <laughs> so that's why we're watching and they're playing. And the MRH landing, trying to find a good little spot to touch down. Oh, is he, is he landing on the roof? He is landing on the roof. Couple, oh no! Oh, oh oh no! A little, oh, and we got a BTR or Tiger spawning right in the get-go. Panic with the infantry squad as Tiger on the other side of the road. Those heavy machine guns 
lighten up that front cab. RPG slams it to the side. MRH is on fire. They need to touch her down and get that out. Absolute. Oh, no. Gunner falls right out of that open door of the MRH. Pilot panicking. Oh, no. Co-pilot falls out. Pilot slams into the side of the mountain. And Ozzy's down in MRH really early with some heads up plays by the Russians. We got that half though. Ten, there's a BTR up there to your east. Wow, what a way to start. And you have, well, we'll say this one. BTR goes and decides to push straight up north. This is not uncommon. Both sides usually trying to push the open ground of the other. Aslav on her right side, Shuri. And he knows there's a BTR out there somewhere. Because he just heard his buddy in a lodgy ahead of him get absolutely shrecked by him. Push this BTR. We're just gonna see if it can come to us, so we get the drop. Yes. On it. I was gonna say. Like coming up behind you to support. A little bit nervy yeah, right. of a spot here. We can see just how much ground you gotta look over because a BTR can be hiding anywhere here. And if we turn on. Oh, where did he go? Did he just Houdini us? He did Houdini us. And that's why it's so dangerous to just push this. I hey, fire on cap seven. Uh, two seconds. As Aussies have captured insurgent hideout, so their first point is down. Hermit's estate for Russia is also capped. They're moving on to checkpoint. And we're still getting some nice fights where that helicopter Dropped. Seems like some sporadic infantry fighting. See if this BTR looks like they are doing the smart thing. They got their logi. They said, you know what? Let's not push it. They could be anywhere here. And they are falling all the way back. And by all the way back, I mean they are just getting greedy and trying to get some kills out on the uh, the cliffside here. You might have gone there and gone to the center because he's definitely not up there. So, as the Aslavs try to figure out where in the world the BTR just went, let's take a look down in the valley, and we have a bunch of Aussie infantry. I might have followed those uh, red lines, go six. Or not see any guys in the past. We have a couple yeah. Russians, they're just chilling. There is a fob up for the Russians just to our, our right, right up the river. River kind of splits this whole valley. And hold on a second. Toxic Taco is a heavy anti-tank, and I don't know if he has a tandem round. He does! Incredible Toxic Taco. Nails a pinata of Aussies. We're gonna stay up top here. Slaps a Lodgy in just right place, right time. Unbelievable. When the solo hat works out. Why whenever I do this in, in squad, I'm in the same spot, but some dumbass is over out there, and right as I'm about to line up the Lodgy. I get shot by this random ass dude while I'm being a random ass dude. What? It, the, Toxic Taco nails the squad timing, knocks out a and 286 tickets to 307. And tandem rounds are a good old one shot for these lightly skinned Lodgy vehicles. And there you go. This looks like an abandoned helicopter out here. It's actually uh, the helicopter player is being kind of a bro right now. Uh, we're so far from him that the actual icon will not spawn in for us. But he actually flew the helicopter to checkpoint since you cannot capture uh, anything with a uh, with a vehicle. Ooh. Uh, he's dismounted and actually capping it by himself. ATGM from way, 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 way downtown. I think it's over here. Yes, there it is. 
Uh, you now have both MBTs up, including no, no, theirs as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, that tower just fucked us up. Yeah, they have no idea where it is. They have a tower, okay. Um, where? Um, where? Oh, I see. No way, is he actually trying to yeah, face check this ATGM right now? We have a mark on the map with our This is a very brave and or stupid Aslav crew. Because look at where the ATGM is. It's sitting on your screen. Aslav shooting in the complete wrong direction. I don't... Am I... I, I think he should have taken a lot more damage. Maybe it just hit weird. But another one coming in. Smoke, why are you just get out of there? On fire. He's going to be out of service. That's putting it lightly. You got to dismount quick. Get that fire out. ATGN is going to wait until that smoke clears and tries to come up for another one. Pulls out that toolbox. Gets his nice little wrench. Everybody knows wrench puts out fires. Nope, puts it back in and ATGM just barely misses. Decides, you know what? On second thought, what if I just don't put it out? What if what if I just let it explode? And there you go. There's also a T72 now taking shots. I think it is a it was a toe originally, but now it's definitely an MBT. I hear I'm hearing sabers. And up there it is, Sable Round is about to be the luckiest Aslav in existence. The C72, you can barely see it, send of your screen here, and there it goes. Aslav goes down to a T72. Just barely visible. That's around 1500 meters at least. And this is where that ATGM was jagged with a hell of a shot. And we might just get one of the longest range tank fights in squad here. Abrams know that T-72 is somewhere out there. Doesn't know where. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the super south one. This is dangerous if your tank's here. You know there's an ATGM and that, that ATGM is kind of max range. I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually... Uh, utilizing a little bit of the the drop if it's after 1500 meters you can't shoot the ATGM or can't control it rather tank the T72 just moving past this cliff you see the Lodge moving right to left he's right in front of it here Abrams is actually looking at the wrong spot T72 also looking a little different. Hold on, tank right of us. Oh, hold on. Pardon the quick camera movement. T72 with a big flank. Wow, you got one T72 way out in the distance and another T72 pushing in close, trying to sandwich the Abrams. Toms are going a little crazy right now. Guys have also spotted a possible... They're literally on top of a mountain. I'm marking the MG spot right here. Um, Abrams just trying to chill for a second. Looks like, or sounds like rather, that he got at least one round shot into him. Yeah, ten. That tank mark, I do believe you, but we can hit from the right, I think. Yeah, no, no, it's true. Your marker was accurate. It is somewhere around there. If you look there, you can see him. Yeah. You can see Abrams below us firing at the long one. E72 holding that angle. Abrams. I mean, this is a huge standoff. And it looks like the Abrams are doing the smart thing. They know that there's a long range battle that can happen with the tank way out to the south, but what actually be better is if you know for a fact that there's a tank close to you, you pair up and you push them together. You don't want to play onesie twosie here, get picked off and allow this T-72 to then just own this flank. You need to be aggressive and push them together. Especially if the Abrams has already uh, had one shot into him, which means he's down to around 75% health. 
Kind of like a game of chess right now. E72 just continuing to hold. Abrams turning on their engines. E72 looks like he's deciding to push. Not sure what the Abrams shooting at. Maybe the helicopter? Yes, helicopter. Yep. Way off in the distance, trying to do some scouting, actually draws some fire, which is really good for the T-72. T-72 knows right in front of him is where there's at least one Abrams. If we could hear Russian comms, we'd probably hear that there's two of them. Just see one mark. I think there's an enemy mark here, enemy mark down south, and we got... We see him here. Singe Koo is actually looking the wrong way! And gets knocked out by the T-72. That's going to be just as good as a spot. Because now they know the T-72 is there. Abrams decides to poke his head. I'm not sure if he sees him just yet. T-72 gets the first shot. But also gets tracked by the Abrams. Abrams is mobile. Gets a second shot off. T-72 does nail his, I think, right into the side of that turret. Second shot from the second Abrams goes nowhere. Eaten by that armor. Third shot by the T-72. Nails that turret of the Abrams and he has to back away because one more shot, he's going to be done So T-72 swapping targets. Fire, that crewman needs to get that one out because the second Abrams is about to finish him off. Misses his shot. T-72 with another one. Oh, brave from the T-72 crew, but just can't. Do much when it's two Abrams against one T-72. Crewman can do nothing but run away from his wreck. And hide in a bush. <laughs> hey, this is my home now. That's a lot of scary tanks out there. I'm, I think I'm just going to stay here. Good kills by the Abrams. And even if they have to fall back a bit and get a repair... That is, that is huge. Fantastic play. Uh, to decide to not do the long range fun fight and instead do the fight that you need to happen. Or you need to have happen rather. Hit flying way above and spawn out the tanks and let's see if we can get... We saw a couple of them last round. Always fun when you get a nice little uh, helicopter tank kill, but I do not think that's going to happen. Way too high. Making sure he's spotting and not getting spotted himself. So let's take a look at the rest of the map now that tanks are kind of okay at the moment. We have uh, 287 tickets for the Aussies. 311 for Russia, actually. Despite Aussies having one, two, three, four... I hate this and nearly had capped police station. So four points for the Aussies. One, two, three, four for the Russians. Midpoint police station kind of in flux at the moment. I can try, uh, but there's toes. So Sneaky turtle, slim hunter, big Russian push into police station to try to secure that. And, oh, hold on a second. Fro, Frovevda, Frovada, 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 Frovada. Full build coming to Hump Farm. We're going to be flying low along the river. Frovada with an RPG, and he is a long way. Just, just careful because this from home. Is accurate and, it's and he rushes it. Can you please have some help? You need to be a little, a little bit more patient, cause you ain't got nothing now. Shift and Lucky taking care of their Abrams, they'll be fine. Lord, Lord of Rock, trying to scout them a little bit, and true rule, unless he's a hat player. Oh, oh, oh. that might be huge. If anything, at least getting some comms going. Abrams, their crew trying to get their tracks up. As you see the tiger 
Yeah, just off in the west. distance. Tiny bit west. I think it's gotta be uh, your guys coming Thanks. to the rescue. Should see that hat just pop up here. If anyone can help, that'd be amazing. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're coming up the Azimuth's good for you. Thank you. We might make it out, but... He's adjusting. Hey, Brooms. Tracks are up, and they're going to be probably RTB right now because they took a lot of damage in that earlier tank fight. And the hat might have blown his chance. Yeah, and he doesn't have any more visual. He's going to have to try to hop in the tiger, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. Tank not pushing us. I don't know. If he's down there and he's gone north, he probably is. You know what? He actually might get a shot as the Abrams if he follows the road. I don't think we need it. We should be okay. Nah. Abrams drive smoke in it and... Do you still going to head over to that side of the ridge though? Try to see if we can use it. He's going to be just out of range. Yeah, Toe's not manned right now. We have... Yeah, Abrams complete full back. Here's the issue though. Rules trying to play some games. With this, he actually might run into a uh, a sneaky little squad five with a Lodgy. The tank actually kind of aggroing the hat player into a perfect shot for this Lodgy. And if he sees this road, I think because of the distance, it's actually or the uh, the elevation, he's not going to see anything. But Lodgies are very, very loud. One thing about squad, you need to make sure your audio... Oh, he dismounts just in time to miss the Lodgy. Oh, he should see it just now. Tiger. Dismounts, hat, lining up the Lodgy shots. Oh, and misses. He needs to jump in quick. Pull out some GTA. We're digging the radar right now, squad Oh, he's going for the reload. Trying to take a second one. Can he do his redemption shot? He's in two mines. Do I go back to the tiger? Do I just try to go? No, I can go. I'm really fast. I'm really tall. I can aim. Honestly, that was a really good shot. He actually nearly nails it from like 200 meters looping. That would have been crazy, actually. Uh, Lodgy decides to just get the hell out of there. And that's a turret. That's a turret. Of course, it'd be a Russian turret. Why? Why? Of course not. Ten, Russian five, turret. Five, four, uh, uh, I think it came from space. I think it came from space. All right. Uh, okay. Um. Rule decides to let the. Okay. Lodgy go. And you know what? That might actually ruin the game a little bit for them. 257 tickets to 281. And that Lodgy just did an actual. This is an insane flank over to Vineyard and Police Station. This is the active point. If, they, if these guys manage to get it in, they could actually turn the, comp the, the game can turn on this fob. This is such a pain in the ass to get to, such a pain in the ass to fight. And they need to not get greedy. CompuTree and Dr. What? Oh, they just sneak right by him. This is a very ballsy play. This could be the game. And hold on. Enemy Lodgy right in front of him. Actually gets shot and hits a mine? Sneaky Turtle all of a sudden turns the corner and sees a Lodgy explode right in front of his face. As you have Proveta now understands that, hey, there's a, there's a couple Aussies here. We need to pay attention to this. Robert E.T. also goes down. And what helicopter is behind us? That's a Russian helicopter. Russian BTR. You got a lot of Russians. And the Aussies need to pay attention. Oh, this is one Lodgy to our left for Russia. One Lodgy to our right and a helicopter. If the Aussies get up and move and they can cause a lot of damage. 
Krigor and just uh, being a bush wookie right now. How are they not seeing each other? Come on, guys. Come on. Heads up. Heads up. Heads up. To your left or right or take an RPG to the face. That also works. Boom. Bandago nails Frovetta and that RPG, though. Who's it? Pockets. He's just going to be rearming these frag rounds and trying to send them into to buildings, windows, whatever he can. One thing that I do not like right now is that this Lodgy is still right next to the radio. And that's going to be a huge, hey, look here thing for Russians. Ben, careful. There was a BTR to your north. MRH. Hovering to drop supplies as an Aussie pushes the Lodgy and absolutely murks the driver. Aussies might turn this around just now. As you have now a small contingent, and by small contingent, I mean the entire Russian team is in police station, which is in front of us right here. Then you have Aussies to the east. You have Aussies that we just watched to the west. Yeah, BTR on him. Completely sandwiched. And this is kind of how you you win Anvil. You need to get a flank in the valley, not up on the hills, and just push infantry out. It's very hard to do, but it looks like the Aussies might just be able to knock it out. Four door and Sir Mort with that BTR kind of on a thunder run. Through the Aussie position. Ben, careful. We don't know where he's at. BTR just narrowly avoids an anti-tank round. As he's going back to police station because Russian comms are going to be absolutely yelling for support. They're stuck in between. They're stuck in between uh, the entire Aussie team. And BTR looks like he did take a little bit of damage from another AT. And uh, a little bit more damage from another AT. As he is on fire right outside police station. And Door smart. They decide to say, no, I don't want to deal with that. He dismounts and his buddy explodes. And that is really bad timing because you actually have an LAV coming in and it probably would have killed him anyway, but BTR down. That means LAV is going to be the only armor right now. And this, uh, okay. Look at this capture zone. Okay. It looks completely normal. Don't be scared. It's a lot of shapes. Uh, they are just varying types of rhombuses. No, it's not a rhombus. Rectangular prisms. So that way all the buildings are in the capture zone. So really weird looking capture zone. Matches the compound pretty much one for one. And with that, the Aussies are capping police station. We might be seeing a comeback here. 234 tickets to 218 because that was a huge push losing a lot of Russian armor and infantry and the valley is going to be speaking Aussie here in a sec oh hold on a second just as we say that too many Aussies pushed off crikey all right I'm sorry I said that Aussies I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend you guys with my horrible butchering of your accent and using slang words that I'm sure you don't actually say but crikey, have, nobody uh, watched the radio. D5. Russians just push in from the west, go in right where the Aussies set up. And yeah, it's nice to to take out this objective, but okay, you, you just gave up 20 tickets in the radio. You gave up probably a couple lodges that are now going to get killed. And they might even take back the point here within the next few minutes. So might just be kind of a huge misplay. Ten, can you push towards that hab to your uh, yeah, we And to now uh, to Do we have our tank battle run. now? Yes, we do. Thanks.
E72. All out by his lonesome here. Fire's an enemy tank. Uh, 1,400 out. Halfway neutralized. Three. There are five chevrons on the police station. We're gonna get to that. Um, send my third to just saw him. Uh, I'm trying to get a flat angle. And I think if we see... Oh, there he is. Wow, what a shot. That is over a thousand meters away. The Abrams are firing. You can see their position. One on the left, one on the right, just barely making him out in the fog. At least a couple rounds impacting the T-72 and he just has to smoke out and reposition, get out of there. That's a really good shot. Tiger now taking a little bit of aggro. T-72 moving out. And Abrams nearly making a hell of a shot. T-72 just dodging kilometer-long AP rounds. And... Oh, he nearly tracked him. AP round actually impacts just above the track skirt. And that would have been a hell of a shot. T-72 looks like he should get just out of cover here or into cover rather he's come straight over us just now helicopter scouting their friendly tanks and we can barely i can't even see with the the outlines on where exactly these tanks are because it's they're just so far off in the distance but they've at least scared the t-72 enough to bail out and t-72 Looks like he's just going to RTB. You can see him pulling up next to those helipads right there. Hold on a second. Something just popping. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, we got that, logistical that is a helicopter. It might have been a hip. Not sure. Not sure which helicopter went down. Nope, it's the British helicopter. Or sorry, British. The uh, MRH, the Aussie hot helicopter. Not quite sure if he got shot by maybe the hat or what, but you might want to move. goes down 265 tickets to 155 and the Aussies with that little flank and fob set up, they might actually pull this out. Kind of really up to the infantry. As you can see, the vehicles are obviously important, but infantry have to make plays as I think I just lost all frames. Hold on, hold on a second. I don't think I've done this in this game before. I'm checking out stat FPS. I am down to 25 frames. What is... Is there... The 15... 16? The end of the world. It's right here. This is like a black hole. 14? Can we go lower? 14? The world ends right here in Anvil. Don't, don't look over there. Don't look over there. And we're getting close back up to 60 over here. Woof. Yikes. All right. Don't look that way. There is no game going on to our back left, okay? That that part of the map does not exist. Russian kind of pinned right now by the LAV who takes an engine shot by an RPG to his front right. He's in the middle of the road, he's gonna be on your right. nearly goes down to a grenade and that's actually kind of brave right now rpg flies right over and right down the road that rpg should be reloading trying to take another shot grenade coming into the side and the gunner is looking the complete other way engine looks like it's up or no he's just swapping sides how do they miss the helicopter? Come on, please. It was right there. Oh my God. LAV or Aslav rather somehow 
misses both the grenades that are being shot at it and the helicopter, but I don't think it matters. Did the helicopter just crash? Oh, uh, it lost its rotors. Helicopter rotored in the middle of the river. And if there's a couple infantry nearby for the Aussies, doesn't look like it. Lord Rock and Velhit kind of just staring at each other like, uh, okay. Not sure what we do now. Need to get those. I I'm curious to see. He might have to push that helicopter back out a little bit because if he gets his rotors up, it might just clip that side of the, uh, or I guess the tree right off to his side. Uh, Sue 22 rolling up his PMV. Little school bus. And he might, I think he's AT as well. Uh, he might get up here just in time to see that helicopter. And if he does, he's going to have a hell of a shot. EMV rolling up to the cliffside and there's that helicopter. He just pushes out to the ridge a little bit more. Should be able to see it. Helicopter crew below us running back and forth, trying to figure out just what he wants to do. Uh, we could do with a scout. And I forgot to write the timestamp thingy when you kill a tank so you know when it spawns. Dismounts and he sees. Oh, Aslav actually. Wow, what a play. Aslav takes out the ATGM. Cornet was on that hillside. Nearly takes a Cornet into the side and just barely. Taking it out in time. Uh, Aslav has RPGs all over him. Provetta. Looks like he hit the side of him. But I am not quite. Is somebody like hitting? What is? Is, is he like playing music while smacking his keyboard? Is he playing a banjo? What? How do people play games nice. with headphones on and then listen to music outside those headphones? I'm confused. Helicopter about to go down to an ass left. It blows my mind. Very confused. Never mind. Helicopter not going to go down. <laughs> okay, now it goes down. Aslav pretty much tail rotor snipes. He ran himself over. Just uh, drive into it and it'll push him off. And what just happened here? Did someone just ran themselves over? Sue ran himself. <laughs> <laughs> Sue dismounted and ran, got himself ran over by his own car. So he is stuck. <laughs> He's asking for assistance to have Swiggy and Swaggy try to push him off. I know there's a tank fight going on right now, but have you ever seen an Aussie run themselves over with the Bushmaster? I haven't. I have now. Like, John should be able to get that Bushmaster off of him. There you go. Here you go, smoke. T-72, I mean, this is... These are the fights that are happening right now. T-72 takes a couple rounds, Abrams takes a couple rounds, and they smoke off and kind of bail, so... Oh, hold on. Oh, there's a... Second T-72. Second T-72 actually takes out the Abrams. I don't think they realize. Oh, no, 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 no. Jagged with the AT. Is that, is that, is that two tanks now? We're engined. Fuck. Russian hat knocks out one Abrams. I only see the one. And goes and hides back into the compound. He might have a... I think he has a logic behind him so he can 
Rearm. And gets tracked. He doesn't know where he's at. It's where the big smoke is. Come on, heads up, awareness, please, off to your right, where the smoke is. Yeah, those are Russians are kind of on the on the hills as well. That's like one or two guys, not a lot. And goes to poke, and he does. What a play by the Russian hat. Peaks well, right above the compound yeah, and good. manages to take out two Abrams. What a fantastic play. Trying to stay mobile. You can see he had some Tiger support as well, calling him out. Wow. Russia somehow manages to take what had turned out to be a really bad start for their vehicles and flips it with infantry. 156 tickets for the Aussies, 110 for the Russians. They were nearly down 100 about 5 or 10 minutes ago. So this could be huge. This could be how they come back here because now uh, Russia, if you see, we have one T-72 overwatching Vineyard. Vineyard? 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 And you have another T-72 headed up into Maine right now. So they're going to have armor superiority. Uh, I believe they're going to have a helicopter up soon if they don't have one right now. And do they have any BTRs? We're not quite sure. But huge plays right now. Infantry on both sides making some fantastic moves. And I hear a helicopter. Ozzy MRH going low into the valley and he's be very careful. This is just the ATGM zone. I mean, okay, okay. I mean, okay. That also happens. That can happen. Yeah, right. it <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's scary, you know, it's just, it's scary. There might've been a little windy when you get into valleys, you know, it, you know, he, he started above the valley, but it's the wind shift, the Santa Valley wind shift in anvil it can cause a lot of gusts uh the gusts really just kind of offset the weight distribution of the mrh and you know whoops there you go so you know it could really happen to anybody really happen to anybody out there uh 137 tickets down to 95 and just when the aussies probably don't want their helicopter oh god oh no toxic taco he's just he's following the road he, he was following the road, doing his own thing. And are you actually, is this actually, is this, is this real life right now? Is he going to just shimmy on down to a helicopter? I think he is. He's been playing on the back lines of the Aussies all game, and he might just get one of the freest free, free, free kills ever. I think he's up in that watchtower right now. RPG-28 flies very straight. Decides not to take it. You can see he's maybe looking at it. Toxic Taco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Alright, uh, uh, remember, we said you gotta watch out for toes, so, and then that was before he crashed, and then he got hit with the toes. Yep, ATGM. That's usually what happens to the helicopters on Anvil. Ironic that it's on the way back, but there you go. Um, all that repairing for nothing, and the ATGM, I don't even know where it came from, to be honest. Maybe way down here. Yep, Donnie G. Easy as can be. I, uh, this is going to be close, guys. Yes, the Aussies are up by 40 tickets right now. I don't know. 
Yeah, this, this is, is a Russian cornet. Ozzy jumped on it. No, he just... No, get back. No, right... No, there. Right there. Please? Did you... Is there ammo? There's a, There should be one in there. It might be empty. I see 71 ammo. It might have just been empty. Would have been great if it had something in it. But... I suck. <laughs> Captain Bainyard, three chevron. That's good. That's a good name. That's a good name. Uh, I suck. He actually nice proxies push. the hab. And uh, I mm, vineyard is about to go down, so this will probably be it for Russia. Russia might have been able to get a little bit of a comeback, but if they lose vineyard, 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 then they're not going to be able to do it. Did they just lose a tail rotor? How? Unbelievable. I don't even know how it happened. I think there was AT right here. Can someone check the yeah, there was one of the Aussie anti-tanks actually hits the rotor of the hip, spirals out of control, slams into the cliffside, and then eventually pops. Handful of infantry tumble out. And what might have been a little bit of a... A chance to get Vineyard back with a radio as it goes, goes down in smoke. That's a fantastic rotor shot from whichever AT managed that. Forty-seven or so tickets left, and you have a big arty call in. Might be a little too late though. ETR pushing up the point right now. Bobby Schmurda. And enemy artillery coming in for the Aussies on Vineyard. Enemy artillery on Vineyard. We'll finish the cap, then we'll die. <laughs> there you go. We'll finish the cap, then we'll die. BTR does not care. He's going right in. There's some close artillery support. He's just trying to mop up any Aussies that- Oh! A round actually slams into the BTR. Knocks out a lot of health and he's stuck. This artillery. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh, he gets killed by his own artillery. Incredible in the last barrage. Pushes up, gets stuck on the fence. And one arty round. <laughs> Slams right into his own BTR. Oh my goodness. Talk about danger close. And it doesn't look like they killed any Aussies on the point. Ends up killing his own BTR. And that might just be about the game now. There we go. One ticket left. 173 to 1. 173 to 0. Ozzy's coming up with the dub. 160 kills. 131. Not that, uh, that much of a blowout, but just a couple key vehicle kills. And uh, some fantastic infantry flanks getting some key fobs. Take it for the Aussies. G Gs. <laughs> G Gs.